A piecewise function is a function that is made up of two or more subfunctions that each defines the function on a portion of its domain. If we are given a piecewise function where the subfunctions contain arbitrary constants, we can manipulate those constants so that the piecewise function is both continuous and differentiable. Let's look at an example. Given the piecewise function f of x, which equals ax squared plus 6x minus 15 when x is less than 7, and mx minus 8 when x is greater than or equal to 7, we want to find a and m such that f of x is continuous and differentiable. There are two unknowns and two conditions that we can use to find equations containing them. The subfunctions are a parabola and a line both of which are continuous and differentiable for all values of x. We'll start by using continuity. In order for our piecewise function to be continuous, the value of the function as x approaches 7 from the left must be equal to f of 7. We use the definition of the function to find f of 7. f of 7 equals m times 7 minus 8, which is equal to 7m minus 8. Now we need to find the limit of the function as x approaches 7 from the left. Using what we know about limits, this equals a times 7 squared plus 6 times 7 minus 15. Simplifying each term gives 49a plus 42 minus 15. Now we combine like terms and see that the limit of the function as x approaches 7 from the left is 49a plus 27. We obtain our first equation by setting the value of the function at 7. 7m minus 8 equal to the left limit we just found, 49a plus 27. Now we solve for m. Adding 8 to both sides gives 7m equals 49a plus 35. Divide both sides by 7 to isolate m and we find that m equals 7a plus 5. We also want the piecewise function to be differentiable, so the derivative of f at 7 must exist. Now we have our second condition. The derivative of f of 7 must exist. Recall that f prime of 7 is equal to the limit as x approaches 7 of f of x minus f of 7 all over x minus 7. This means that the left and right limits must be equal. Let's start by finding the right limit. f prime of 7 is equal to the limit as x approaches 7 from the right of f of x minus f of 7 all over x minus 7. After substituting for f of x and f of 7, we have the limit as x approaches 7 from the right of mx minus 8 minus the quantity 7m minus 8 all over x minus 7. Combining like terms gives the limit as x approaches 7 from the right of mx minus 7m all over x minus 7. Notice that the numerator can be factored as m times the quantity x minus 7. This means that the fraction reduces to m, so the derivative f prime of 7 equals m. Looking ahead, we will be using ax squared plus 6x minus 15 when x is 7 to find the left limit of the derivative. Notice that the constant in this subfunction is a. We can save time by rewriting the right limit we just found in terms of a using this equation. We now have f prime of 7 equals 7a plus 5. Now that we've found the right limit of the derivative, we need to find the left limit when x equals 7. f prime of 7 is equal to the limit as x approaches 7 from the left of f of x minus f of 7 all over x minus 7. Recall, f of x equals ax squared plus 6x minus 15 when x is less than 7 and the left limit of f of 7 is 49a plus 27.
we end up with the limit as x approaches 7 from the left of ax squared plus 6x minus 15 minus the quantity 49a plus 27. All over x minus 7 after substituting f of x and f of 7 into the limit. Simplify the limit, distributing negative 1 over the parentheses and combining like terms gives the limit as x approaches 7 from the left of ax squared minus 49a plus 6x minus 42 all over x minus 7. Factor a out of the first two terms in the numerator and 6 out of the last two terms. This gives the limit as x approaches 7 from the left of a times the quantity x squared minus 49 plus 6 times the quantity x minus 7 all over x minus 7. Note that x squared minus 49 is the difference of two squares and can be factored further. We now have the limit as x approaches 7 from the left of a times the quantity x plus 7 times the quantity x minus 7 plus 6 times the quantity x minus 7 all over x minus 7. The numerator and the denominator share a common term and can be simplified. Now using what we know about limits, we find that the left limit of the derivative, f prime of 7, equals 14a plus 6. To complete the example, we need to find a and m. To do so, we set the left and right limits of the derivative equal to each other and solve for a. The left limit, 14a plus 6, is equal to the right limit, 7a plus 5. Isolating the a term on the left side gives 7a equals negative 1. Divide both sides by 7 to find that a equals negative 1 seventh. Now we can use the equation for m we found previously, m equals 7a plus 5 to find m. Substitute negative 1 seventh into the equation for a to find m equals 7 times negative 1 seventh plus 5. Multiply to get m equals negative 1 plus 5. Complete the simplification to find that m equals 4. The piecewise function f of x which equals negative 1 seventh x squared plus 6x minus 15 when x is less than 7 and 4x minus 8 when x is greater than or equal to 7 is continuous and differentiable.